we finally made it a six hour drive to upstate New York to check out this basement gym. It better have been worth it to finally meet the man with an orange fetish. I like orange. <laughs> Big Keith, nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you guys. We're here in the no wine cellar today, do a full tour. And uh, you ready to get this thing started? Are you uh, stressed out at all or? Little, little nervous, but we, we should be able to make it work. Nothing to worry about. Only tens of thousands of people will see this. Hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> now let's talk about the most orange piece of equipment in this gym. Keith, what the hell is this? This is a uh, competition bench press by a power lifter. So this is what we use in competition a lot of times. Uh, it's got the face savers and the uh, spotter deck. So it's nice to have, it's a lot easier to use the spotter deck than it is to have someone, you know, crawl behind a squat rack and try to lift off for you. Um, fits handled, you know, mid 400 pound bench press, no issue. The face savers have definitely saved some lives a couple of times. Uh, so definitely safety first. Wow, this thing's really nice. Yeah, you know, Keith, I sort of expected you to have a lot of bars, but not a lot of labels. Oh, you busting on my labels? I've uh, had a lot of people over the years that didn't really know what some of these bars were. So years ago, I started putting label makers on them, but kind of transitioned away from that as over the years. Oh, so one guy that knows the bars is these. You have two fully stainless steel Ohio power bars. This is this is like my dream bar. So I probably take one of those home for the. You know, I had to drive all the way here. I mean, so if I had any of them that had a chrome sleeve, I'd surely sell you one because I'm not a fan of those, but the fully stainless, they're staying in the gym forever. Mm. Wow, and are these the York weights? Yep, those are York milled era plates. I've got about 4,000 pounds of those. Oh my gosh. And they're all milled? Yep, yep, all the uh, all the 45s and basically all the bigger plates. Some of the change plates are smooth. We've got a couple of these at our gym and I love these things, but not this collection. This is amazing. I'm just gonna leave these just like this for you so all the people at home can see these nice milled marks well i'm going to consider that a safety hazard because i can't i can't i don't have a, i don't have a lip to get the plate from so one of the rules in the gym is all the plates get racked on the plate tray with the lip out please so while we're paying attention to the nicest bar you have this uh cap <laughs> trap bar do you want to tell us about your kabuki collection yep so i've got the uh, kabuki duffalo bar and the kabuki cadillac bar uh both of them are great in the off season for power lifting they just uh, take a you know it's a lot easier on your joints using both those bars so you can do variations of the main lifts it looks good you got looks like two bar racks here but i also spotted the only reason <laughs> oh the full reason i came here not uh, for your sparkling personality but these <laughs> vintage york deep dish these are my dream plates I have big plans to uh, get some of these someday. So when we steal the bar, we'll steal these too. Yeah, there yeah, you keep your voice down, but yeah. <laughs> What's in this corner? Yeah, it looks like you fit a lot into a small, tight space. That's what I'm known for. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't help but see you have more bars and more labels. But before we go into detail on these, it's crazy you have the original version of Titan's safety squat bar. What are you talking about? That's Dave Tate's Elite FTS squat, SSB. Yeah, it's, it's Titan's first version of their safety squat nice. bar. So, I see what he did there. Yeah, and I can't help but notice you have two nearly identical uh, squat racks. What? Why? Uh, I've got several people that come over and train with me on a pretty regular basis. We have a crew of uh, lift power lifters that come over every Sunday morning and uh, just, you know, do squat bench and deadlift and some accessories. So it's when I have four or five people over, it's pretty much got to have multiple racks. So that's why. That's pretty sick. Um, I couldn't help but notice you have two drink spotters in the gym. Reverse hyper in the massonomics drink spotter, a little weird. Do you really need two of those? I mean, yeah, I, it's it's your safety first. You know, you, if this one is getting a little wobbly, I, I go to the the, the the safer one up there by massonomics. <laughs> that makes sense. Now we need to begin the awkward transition under the stairs because, well, that's the problem with a basement gym, not having a garage gym. No, Keith, I didn't know you were DIY. What's this little hat you got right here? <laughs> it's a uh, pl extra plate storage pin and some duct tape and a uh, hose clamp to turn the uh, the Rogue six post rack into a seven post uh, plate storage tree. So you should try to sell them that idea. I, if someone, if I could find a local welder to, to actually do a better version, I would. No, this is polished. They'd probably pay. Yeah, I mean, yeah. duct, duct tape goes just, a long way. Sorry to interrupt. Can you just stand here? We don't need to give any publicity to this channel over here. Uh, our, 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 our mutual friend, uh, <laughs> Brandon, we, we're going to cover him up. Okay. Yeah, we're going to cover him up. You're okay. not actually tall enough. <laughs> um, so we're sitting on this deadlift platform. Did you make this yourself? Yeah, yep. Just the uh, regular Home Depot, two layers of plywood, top layer of uh, cabinet grade plywood and stall mats. 
The one thing I'm actually really happy about this is I didn't face screw the top layer in like a lot of people do. So I've screwed from the bottom. So as you look at it, it's just, there's no drywall screws sticking out of it like everyone else's. So yeah, that's, I think this looks a lot better than this. It looks good. And you put some type of grip on this? Yeah, I, there was a lot of people were having uh, issues when they would pull Sumo, they were just slipping and sliding. So I bought a just, just anti-slip stuff in a can off of Amazon. So it's, uh, it's held up so far pretty good. You didn't just tell them to stop pulling Sumo? <laughs> that's the running gag half the time too but all my friends at pull sumo pull more than me so it, it only carries so much well, weight it's not a real lift so <laughs> it only carries, no puns here uh we can probably skip the treadmill because cardio is not like a real thing agreed wow keith you must be really strong yeah a, a couple of those trophies are mine but most of them are my wife's she actually got into power lifting before i did uh kind of the inspiration for me to go down that path so what you're saying is she's actually stronger than you yeah that's a pretty much a given well how come none of them are women I don't know. It looks like all guys, though. But I guess you could probably, uh, there might be a number on the back. You can call China and figure out uh, why there's no women on there. <laughs> nice. And you glued this on so well. <laughs> actually, so this one's actually a uh, factory. It's it's fully welded. It's from the, from the factory like that. That's an inspiration of how I did the hack on the Rogue one. Wow. And if you enjoyed watching us belittle Keith, I know his wife did, then why don't you comment more people we can tour, like, and subscribe so you don't miss out. Well, looks like you've got another fine piece of Titan equipment here. Uh, it's the uh, one of, I think it's the only piece of Titan equipment I have in the whole gym. <laughs> That's true. Um, so this one gets a lot of flack. My buddy, Matt, absolute monster. He had this thing for years and beat the living crap out of it. It's in our PR 4000 video and uh, fairly solid if you can get over some Titan qualities there. Yeah, it has. It's uh, served me well. It's been in my entry level rack, but I've uh, scissored it into the ceiling, the, the floor joist a little bit. And so you, like you really can't move it and you but, can still do a pull up. Yeah, yeah. What's uh, this all about? Uh, this is a banner. It's just a, it's a fringe sport banner, but uh, I like the logo of uh, lift, lift heavy shit with dope people. So recently I've had anyone that's worked out here over the years actually just sign their name and the date that they've uh, first started training here. So my goal is to be like a 70 year old dude with still has a home gym and has this thing with like a hundred signatures on it. That's a pretty cool goal. That means we get to sign it, right? Ooh, I mean, if you work out, maybe we'll see. <laughs> I guess we're going to have to work out next. So this is an okay bench collection, but if you don't have double digits, does it really count? I mean, three does the job. It works for me. Okay, for some, for some. I see you got a Rogue AB2. Yep, yep. That's the uh, hardest pad in the world, but it's the thing's built like a tank, so it'll never fail. It's just going to break your back. Yeah. And then uh, Gen 1 FB5000. Yep, that is, a, that's, I love that. That's what the, the one bench will roll into the squat racks as the, as the secondary bench. And how long have you had this? At least five years, probably. So the padding's still, it's actually holding up better than mine. It so. did just start to rip on one side, but I'm not that concerned. Don't tell reps that. Yeah. Well, <laughs> no, they don't care. They'll see this though. And then AB3000, the budget adjustable bench for everybody, right? I love that thing. This is, this is my, if I got to go down to one bench, I'd probably keep this one. It's, it's very universal. It does a lot of things for me. And you can decline. And th does the pad ever get in the way of your feet? I like it for what I'm doing. Uh, flat bench press, flat dumbbell bench press, because I'll actually tuck my feet underneath of it. Uh, whereas if I'm on one of the other benches, I somehow I just randomly can't press as well. It's weird, but. So vinyl wise, you got original OG uh, rep vinyl, new rep vinyl and old Rogue. Do you have a preference in grip? I like this. I'm honestly, I like the more slippery uh, pad myself. I don't know. I'm in the minority on that. Everyone else likes the super yeah, grippy. I really like when it grips. I, I'm not a, yeah, well, if. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> One of the more exciting parts of the gym is this full York round head collection. Oh, yeah. Can you please get out of my way? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm trying to look at this. This is awkward. Okay. So, Austin, we found some uh, dumbbells. You can finally use these. Half a pound? Yeah, half a pound, yep. They're, uh, do you have uh, anything smaller for him? I, I mean, I special order them for Austin off your request. So, if they don't work, I don't know what we're going to do. We can spot you. That's our cameraman. These are awesome. How long did it take you to get this full set? Three or four years, honestly, and I don't think I ever bought more than one or two pairs at a time. So I literally had to piece these together all over the Northeast. Like mm -hmm. I drove four, five, six hours to get some of them. You got everything, one through 10, one pound at a time, 12, 15. This is insane. Yeah. Yeah, these are my, uh, they, these are my uh, cherished possession for sure. Uh, took forever to finish these. I had to trade some pretty valuable stuff to get a pair of the hundreds and the 95s. They uh, actually traded a pairs of deep dish to get my hundreds. So oh, that was uh, no. that was a hard pill to swallow, but it was the last pair I needed. So did, do you have to, have you done with the deep dish or these any like 
refinishing or is this basically how you uh, got them all? I've, most of these I got in original paint condition. So, I, you know, just washing them down and oiling them. They turned out pretty good. I think two pairs came painted different colors. Okay. Like I had like a, a blue and an orange or a blue and a, a, a gold pair or something. So I did take those all the way down and paint stripped them and then painted them flat black. So they kind of blend in, but they're definitely not original. But what, did, uh, what did four years of effort cost you financially? Oh, I for a full set. I've got at least five grand in these or more. Uh, They're probably. Uh -oh. These are awesome. Wow. And then, oh my goodness, you broke one? <laughs> no, those are uh, blobs. So that's a half of a York round head that people would cut the center handle out of and use it for grip training. Huh. So a lot of arm wrestlers or people that do like wall climbing or specifically like compete in grip sports will train on those. And how much... Um, prepping and painting of orange did you have to do before we got here <laughs> i've been painting stuff orange for years but once we kind of get this set up last month there was a few unfinished projects that got finished <laughs> <laughs> no these look great this is phenomenal appreciate that well let's not get stuck on the dumbbell boys there's still more to look at okay. yeah just got a little bit more over here <laughs> can't help but notice you guys walked behind this uh, piece of cardio equipment oh yeah you like my uh schwinn re recumbent bike that gets used a couple times a year yeah, it's kind of in the laundry room. We don't really, <laughs> we don't really open that it. flag very often to go back there. You want to talk about your power blocks? Uh, not really. They're for sale. If anybody needs them, I don't because I've uh, finally got to where I'm happy with my dumbbell set. Yeah, can't really complain there. I notice you've got quite the PR board set up here. Yep, this is uh, it's the no wine cellar leaderboard basically. So you put all your best squat, bench, deadlift, and meat total on there. So this is just people that have trained here over the years. Some of them don't even live in this state anymore, but uh, you know, if they were one of the OGs, they still get to keep their numbers up there. Some big numbers. Yep, lots of people are stronger than me that train here, that's for sure. <laughs> and that's one of the best parts of a home gym is you can build a community like that. Absolutely. Yep, so I've got a bunch of pictures of uh, all my friends and I training in the gym and at powerlifting meets over the years, and I thought it was a cool touch to uh, actually put them in magnetic sleeves and put them on all the uh, all the metal surfaces in the gym. So I basically have a, you know, a collage of pictures everywhere of my friends and I training here over the years. It looks really good. If people want to get in contact with you or follow the gym, how do they do that? So on my personal Instagram, you can find me. It's uh, Keith Honeycutt 73, but nobody really cares about that. So more importantly, go follow the gym on Instagram at the no wine cellar. And you guys got to follow him because I think right now his cat's probably more popular than him. Probably. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe to boost us on the algorithm. Thanks for watching. Bye.